Hopefully you're not feeling creeped out by this next one because I've got another great book to show you. This one is called Perimeter, Area, and Volume, A Monster Book of Dimensions, and it is by David A. Adler, illustrated by Edward Miller. Super cute book to talk about all things related to geometry. So I'm going to show you a few pages of this today. You'll also notice that mine has a library code on it. This was a discard book from another library in another state. Looks like it was in Glen Ellen. So Glen Ellen Public Library, thanks for discarding this one. I got it for cheap on eBay. Perimeter, Area, and Volume, a Monster Book of Dimensions. Have you ever been to a 3D movie? 3D movies look real. If there's a monster walking on the screen, it might seem as if he is walking toward you. As the monster on the screen gets bigger and bigger, it seems as if he's coming closer and closer. Such movies are called 3D because they seem to have three dimensions. They seem to have length, width, and depth. In the movie, Monsters in the Neighborhood, the monsters are bothered by nosy neighbors who run across their yards and look in their windows. The monsters decide to put up fences. Before they can buy the fences, they need to know how long each side must be. They need to know the total length of the fence around each yard. Length is just one dimension. When you think about the idea of different dimensions, two-dimensional, one-dimensional, three-dimensional, it's actually a very difficult concept for most people. I really like how this starts to break down exactly what the definition is of those dimensions, as well as giving some examples. Take a look at these two yards. One is bigger than the other. How much fencing would the monsters need for each yard? To find out, add up the lengths of all the sides. When you add up the sides of each yard, you are finding its perimeter, the distance around. I really like how this book also gives some examples that students can work through, as well as the answers. You can see on the other side, they have another example. The distance around a circle is its circumference. To find the circumference of a circle, you first measure its radius, the length of a straight line drawn from any point on the edge of the circle to its center. Then you double its radius and multiply that by pi, which is about 3.14. Inches, feet, miles, centimeters, meters, and kilometers each measure just one dimension. Then we go to the next page. There's, it explains two dimensions, and those are our posters. Then we get into the area, and I just love that this page has a grid on it so students can really count the actual square feet. I'm not going to read all of these, but as you can see, really cute pictures. Finally talks about three dimensions and uses the example of the book. At the movies, you can buy a large box of popcorn or a jumbo box. Which box is bigger? That's easy. The jumbo box is bigger. What makes one box bigger than the other? One box is bigger than the other because it's higher, wider, or thicker. When any one of the three dimensions increases, the size of the box increases. Of course, when both boxes are filled, the jumbo popcorn box has more popcorn in it than the large box. I would even take a moment and ask my students, what are we really measuring if we're measuring the inside of that box? Hopefully they're thinking volume. We call the amount a box holds, or the space anything with three dimensions takes up, its volume. The larger the box, the greater its volume. And you can see there that, again, they've got some great pictures with examples of volume. Then it goes back to opening night of Monsters in the Neighborhood. Again, talking about different dimensions. Door frame has two dimensions. Really like that at the very bottom here, it shows depth, which is kind of cool. Again, thinking about three-dimensional. Perimeter and circumference are the distances around one-dimensional shapes. Area is the space inside a two-dimensional object. Volume is the space a three-dimensional object contains. Monsters and everything you can hold, pick up, or walk around have three dimensions. I love that this page really shows them all the different dimensions all together. I think this is really smart and really helps students to make those connections. This is definitely a book you want to grab for your classroom, especially using it to introduce geometry and thinking about those different dimensions, even measurement. I think this is a great addition to your classroom.